Nearest and dearest, wish you were here. P584 stroke 11, part 1, take 1. Shut up, you big girl's blows. You're on holiday now. Enjoy yourself. But I think I thought something go about five minutes ago. Well, we can't go back for it now. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is it. No, no. We can't stop there. Why not? It's not bloody licensed. Well, no, you need to put your money in. Come on. Peg. Welcome to number 10 Downing Street. <laughs> oh, stop mourning. You've done nothing else but mourn ever since we got on the train. Aye. I don't know. Ever since we... If I'd have known it wasn't a corridor train, I wouldn't have had them five pints before we got on. <laughs> yeah, well, I only had a, a sweet sherry, but by the time we got to Preston, it was telling on me as well. <laughs> what did you do when we went through that tunnel? <laughs> I didn't do out. <laughs> Well, you were wincing when you went in, but you were smiling when you came out. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Why do we have to come to Blackpool for his holidays? Why do we go to Majorca? You're lucky to be going anywhere after spending all our holiday money. If it wasn't for me paying for you, you wouldn't be having an holiday at all. Well, I did try and save up. I joined Wakes Week Holiday Club. <laughs> yeah, and he'd do it all out at Christmas. Well, I wanted to go on a cruise to Canaries. The only canary you saw was that flaming budgery gar in the bar at the Red Lion. <laughs> anyway, I, I was going for a farewell drink. I was going on a cruise. Farewell drink? Going on a cruise? Oh, <laughs> 28 ships must have gone, set off sailing, while you were sat sitting supping in that pub. <laughs> And then you finished up cruising down our backyard on your hands and knees, singing, For those in peril on the sea. <laughs> did I sing that? You did. I didn't even know new words. <laughs> Think on, I'm paying for this lot and behave yourself. Where's that landlady? Ooh. Number four, there we are. Number four. Oh, hello, Mrs. 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 Reminds me of Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Queen doesn't have a room like this. No, but the sentry does stand it outside, doesn't it? <laughs> Where's my room, Mrs. Rawbottom? Rawbottom? <laughs> You're both in here. Both in here? What in that bed? I can't be lay lying all night beside him, touch him. <laughs> Why ever not? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be polite. You're not newly beds, are you? We're not wed, never mind newly. <laughs> well, if you're not, you can get out. I had enough of that sort to carry on with the TUC conference. <laughs> well, no, you don't understand. You see, we're not man and his wife, you see. We're man and his sister, you see. His father was my father, my father was his father, and so was my mother, too. <laughs> Well, can't you see the family uh, reassemblance? No, you see, she was born when my father were on short time. Oh, brother and sister. Yes. Oh, I'm a young widow myself. Hey? I think I've got just the room for you, Mr. Pledge. Mm -hmm. You'll be all right in here, won't you, Miss Pledge? Charming. <laughs> Thank you very glad. You come with me, Mr. Pledge. <laughs> oh, this way. Thank you very much. Ah, well, this is a bit better, isn't it? Is, uh, is that the sea over there? Oh, no, it's the flooded car park. <laughs> I think you'll be very comfortable in this bed, Mr. Pledge. Yeah? 
Its interior sprung. Is it? Gibbs. Get off. Never makes a sound. Don't it? <laughs> Remember when we used to come along when we were kids and our mum used to keep money in different envelopes. She had envelope for this, envelope for that. <laughs> Here she had some right tight fisted ideas on it. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, that's uh, for presents and that's for uh, enjoyment. Donkey rides on the sands and uh, playing on the slot machine and sliding down on the mat. And uh, that's for uh, pots of teas on the sands and that's for the uh, lodgings money to be paid at the end of the week. And uh, that's for, uh, that's for uh, our uh... Eli spending money. Oh, thank you very much, Anne Ellie. <laughs> How much? Uh, there's ten in there. Ten quid? No, ten shillings. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself? Ten bob? They don't sell shrimps one at a time in Blackpool, you know. You can't have your cake and eat it. If you hadn't have stolen the holiday money, you could have had cockles instead of shrimps. Oh, cockle off! <laughs> look at you, look at you. Mm. You've gone blue. You'll have to control yourself. You'll be having a structure. You're... <laughs> you're me. Yeah. You're a female Shylock. A female Shylock? Oh, how do you get... I'm not a female Shylock. No? Well, what are you using my mother's old brassier for, for a shopping bag, then? <laughs> Did you speak, or was that din your dinner repeating? <laughs> oh, you mean old rat bag. Ten lousy stinking shillings, that's what she'd give me. I don't know. <laughs> Ten bob. There's twenty quid here. Hey, Nelly, you've given me money for the lodge. <laughs> she obviously can't be trusted with money. I think this will be safer with me for the time being. Our Lily and our Walter arrive safely. Our Eli, as usual, is being a bit of a... You're going out, are you? <laughs> No, actually, we're just coming in. Oh. <laughs> what are you writing? I'm just writing to our Lily and Walter and saying how nice it was to be away from mithering relations and ponging picklers <laughs> and to see a few fresh faces. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what, you mean like these two? Oh, no. Spring and port wine. <laughs> oh, Mary and Eli. What are you doing here? Has she not told you? She's got him a job as a lifeguard. If you must know, Walter and me's on our second honeymoon. Oh. Why, did he not take first time, Walter? <laughs> You're having it again, then, are you, Walter? <laughs> Your honeymoon? <laughs> he's laughing, he's a card. <laughs> Because I was a war bride. Mm. <laughs> same lodging, same room, same furniture. Same sheets. <laughs> We've come here again to try and recapture the moment. Mm. Did you recapture it? <laughs> the moment. I don't care what you say, it all started here for Walter and me. Uh, by the look of him, it's going to finish here and all. <laughs> Must be off now <laughs> while tides out. I've got him a telescope to see <coughs> ships. Don't get sand in it, Walter. <laughs> well, I'm off too. All right. Have a good time. Have a good time. What on? Ten, ten lousy stinking shillings. Oh, don't wait up for me. I might go wild tonight. I might cop a few rocks at seagulls. I might even pull, plug out at swimming pool. I might even put a, a penny under a Blackpool tram. Ten lousy shillings, how can I have a good time on that? <laughs> Money isn't everything. Money is the evil of all root. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Oh, the best things in life are free. I'm going to walk down the promenade and take in the effluvia of the sea and watch the seagulls singing their little songs and dropping their little messages. <laughs> I shall be stood standing at the end of the pier and I shall be happy because I am taking in God's greener. Knickers. <laughs> and the same to you. That won't get you anywhere. That money isn't everything. What, what does the Bible say? 
while the rich man is trying to push his camel through the eye of a needle. The poor man, without a penny, is always welcome in the kingdom of heaven. Well, he won't be very bloody welcome at Yates's Wine Lodge. <laughs> I knew was, you were different from all those other girls when I saw you standing in the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> there I was, noshing me hamburger, looking at Dr. Crippen with the mustard running down my sleeve. <laughs> Something like this only happens, well, once in a lifetime. I thought that I, you were different to all the other girls. I could tell you things that I couldn't tell them. I mean, like I've got no money left. I've spent it all. I'm skint. But what do we do money for when we've got what we've got? Blackpool belongs to us with all its simple pleasures. Look at those miles and miles of golden sand that the creator created for us to create on. <laughs> and tonight, under the stars, it'll be like from here to eternity. Yes, tonight, under those stars, on that beach, I'll make you mine. Well, you'll have to hurry up, love. My coach goes at half past ten. Walter then, when the wind blew his deck churn into the sea with him in it. <laughs> ah, that's by our, our Lily was brave swimming in after him. It's a good thing he had his rubber ring on. Hey, our Lily's a long time back at Dean's getting him out of his wet clothes, isn't she? Yes, she is. I wonder if they're in the room. Uh, what did she say? <laughs> Recapturing the moment. I wouldn't think so. Not after him standing in that cold water for so long. What do you know? Hey, we'll soon know if they have, you know. I can tell by the look on her face. <laughs> We're back. No, they haven't. <laughs> hey, all right, Walter? No, oh, wind's blown him over again. <laughs> it's all right, he's getting up again. Never mind your hat, Walter. Get hold of yourself. I've been telling it to hold on to them really. Oh, Walter, I got. All right. He's sitting there. Never mind. It's healthy, though. It's brought a bit of colour to his cheeks. <laughs> I say it's brought a bit of colour to your cheeks. <laughs> Pity it's duck egg blue. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, my Lord. Look who's there. They're from next door, ain't Chippy? Ah. She comes on cheap day trip, you know. Cracks on she stays at Grand Hotel. Mm hmm. Makes a change, don't it? A change! <laughs> I hope she's not going paddling. I'm not going in that sea after she's been in. Hello. Bunk up and they've arrived from Madame to Swords. Oh, what are you doing here? I do not know. They've been coming here ever since Reginald Dixon had a mouth organ. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing it posh, staying at some big hotel this holidays. Seeing as how it might be the last. <laughs> We were only we got thrown out. Why? He started it all. We was having his dinner and he sent the wine back because it didn't have head on it. <laughs> sure up. You were just as bad. All I did, this head waiter, he says to me, he said, what is your pleasure, sir? And I told him. <laughs> 
Any road, they chucked us out, and now we can't find anywhere to stay. Uh, wherever we go, they're all full up. Uh, I wouldn't mind, but we've plenty of money. Plenty of money? Oh, uh, we've, hey, we've got plenty of money. Shut sure. up. <laughs> plenty of money? That's not funny, is it? No. There, my lads. I'll find somewhere where you can lay your little heads. <laughs> Where did you spend last night, you two? Tell a circus at Monkey House at Zoo. <laughs> oh. We slept on beach. You must have got some sand on you. Ah, well, it's shifting sand. <laughs> they got clogs on. Oh. Hey, it's very kind of you, like, to let us stop here. I hope you don't get into trouble with landlady if she finds out. Never mind about landlady. You just give it money for rent. I'll take care of it, landlady. Hey, I'm still hungry, Eli. And to get hotels. I can't go in our knowledge case for hotels. You've had six tins already. Why, <laughs> they've all been pineapple chunks. <laughs> you was your pineapple chunk? Aye. I had six tins of cold baked beans. <laughs> what the hell are you grumbling about for five quid a night? What do you want? Wild strawberries with sugar on them? Mr. Hey, Pell! It's landlady. Come on, get under these, quick. Get down. Come on, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, come in, come in, come in. Oh, all on your own, are you? Nah, I thought I'd have an early night like. <laughs> yes, well, I thought I'd bring you some cocoa and some biscuits. Thank you very much, yes. Yeah. I've sugared it. Have you? <laughs> it's a bit stuffy in here now, isn't it? Hi, ah, it's got a bit warm, hasn't it? Get off. <laughs> Since Mr. Rowbottom fell off the North Pier, I've always wanted to meet a man with healthy prospects. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hurt you? No, indigestion. Well, you know where to find me when you want me. What a funny woman. <laughs> hey, come on, who was smoking? He, she hurt when she plunked us in down, right on me pineapple chunks. <laughs> hey, come on, George, get up. I think we left it to Lady Eli. <laughs> get up! He hasn't paid flaming rent yet. But if they want the money, they better give him Kiss a Life. <laughs> I wouldn't give Kiss a Life with a bicycle pump. <laughs> I'll give him artificial respiration. Come on. Oh, no, Ethel. I'm too tired. <laughs> Ooh, couples in every doorway. Talk about Blackpool by night. They may well have the hallucinations. They don't let it go dark. They didn't draw it picture. Yeah, ooh. When I got there, it had changed pictures. What was it? Is he asleep? <laughs> it was a French picture. What? A French picture. Oh, no. Yes, it was called Un homme et un femme. What does that mean? Well, to cut it short, it means a man and a woman. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Well, it was a French man and a woman. <laughs> What did they do? Well, she didn't have time to do any knitting for a start. <laughs> they do carry on, don't they, these French? I don't know why they allow it. What, um, actually happened? You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> do you know? No. <clears throat> well, imagine that uh, there's a man and a woman, like you and Walter. <laughs> no, not like you and Walter, really, no. No, because, I mean, these were French, you know. Well, you'd only just met her, and before you could read the words at the bottom, they were in bed. <laughs> Are you sure he's asleep? Yeah. He's only part in 
we a bit of wind? Um, go on about this French man and woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can drop some stitches. <laughs> ah, they'd drop more than a few stitches. It'd be time this were over, I'll tell you. What about next? Yes, well, that's it, you see. I don't know. That's when this fella next to me started. Started? <laughs> oh, no, not that. No. He shouted at me, he said, uh, Stop tut-tutting, he shouted. You've done nothing but tut-tut ever since that fellow on the film took his vest off. I said, if more people tut-tutted when fellows took their vest off, there'd be less of that going on. It's a man. They're nearly choking me. Well, good night then, Nelly Love. Good night then. Good night then, good night, then Walter. Uh, uh, has he been? <laughs> Have you been? I should go now if I were you. You can't be too careful in a strange house. <laughs> good night, love. See you at breakfast. Yes, good night, love. Oh, just a minute. I just uh, wanted to get rid of him for a minute, you know, so I could talk to you. Uh -huh. I mean, I know it's your second honeymoon. If, um, if you have any trouble with him, just knock on the wall. <laughs> Stan? Stan? Where the hell's he gone? <laughs> oh, sorry, Mrs. <laughs> Wait, Walter. Stan. Stan. Here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Pledge. <laughs> Stan. Stan. Come on, Walter, lover. Get into bed. Here, <laughs> <laughs> I pledge. What are you after? Not what you got. <laughs> Guardian angels overhead, look after me while I'm in bed. <laughs> two angels at my head and two at my feet, and one to stand by me while I sleep. <laughs> oh God! I was only joking. <laughs> Where's your mate? Oh, you're there. Oh, is he your first reserve? First reserve? How dare you incinerate? This crew have been with me for years. I'm not going to have this sort of carry on. I wouldn't care, but they're not even paying for it. Don't worry, they'll pay. Well, good night, Lily Love. Thanks. <laughs> You'll 
you'll get your rent. You don't think for a minute I'd stop here with a landlady who thinks I've been having nightly rendezvous with my two oldest picklers. <laughs> Don't get your bowels in an uproar now. I've told you this much. Come bowels on, in an uproar. She'll get her rent, don't you worry. Oh, God, what's the matter with you? I'll get you. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten shilling. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I hope you're satisfied. Oh, listen, Nelly. What do we need with money? We're in the fresh air. And you said it yourself, money is the evil of all roots. What else did you say? You said, your poor man is always welcome in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, well, I'm sure we're welcome. But it's too bloody far to go there tonight. <laughs>